Welcome back to the Meeple Marathon. Today we're going to be taking a look at Wingspan, uh, the iOS version. So, <clears throat> uh, in my opinion, this this app has been out for a little while. I've had some time to to play around with it and completely forgot about posting a video for it. So I apologize, but. Um, I feel like they did not really have a lot of fanfare around releasing this uh, as a app for the iPhone. It has been available on uh, Steam. It's been available on Switch, Nintendo Switch, for a little while. So uh, being able to play Wingspan digitally is not new. But uh, for many of you out there who are Apple junkies like myself and have the iPad, the iPhone, whatever it may be, uh, this was a must purchase for me. So... <clears throat> We're just going to do a quick playthrough so you guys can see what it's all about. Um, this is not going to be a rules overview video or anything like that. I'm simply here to show off how the app plays. Um, let me just set some stuff up here. I'll turn this down just a little bit. All right. Um, so if you are familiar with the other uh, digital versions of Wingspan, this looks pretty similar. Um, again, the artwork is all in line with the game, so it's a beautiful app. Um, and what's really nice is that if you are playing, <coughs> um, you can play either against a true AI opponent who's making decisions and playing through the game themselves, or you can play against the Automa. So if you prefer to play with the Automa cards and then flipping over, you can play that on the app, or you can um, play against an actual uh, simulated person. So we'll do that. Um, here you can, you know, choose your color, uh, choose your, your avatar here, um, and custom background. We'll do uh, this one. Um, and then here you would choose, all right, do you want AI normal, easy, hard, human player? So you could do this as pass and play. Again, if you wanted to do the Automa, you would have gone back on the other screen and chosen Automa. That way they know it's a single player game only and they're just going to get out the Automa card. So we'll just play against a normal AI player. Sure, Puffin works. Um, everything else is going to be normal so <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started here all right so it is letting the other player make their decision or the ai player make their decisions first <clears throat> and here we are all right there we go uh so here we get to choose our five things we get to keep whether that be um our um food or the actual cards so it shows you this first uh, i like to look at my goal cards first so here you can see you know, essentially it gives you all the same information that uh, playing the actual game would so let's just take a look at these real quick birds with a tuck power or birds with a nest two per bird so if I got three alone, yeah, I'm actually gonna do, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna do this one because I feel like this has a, uh, I have a better opportunity to get more points. So we're gonna choose that one and we'll go back here and let's see, do any of these have a tuck power? This one does. So we'll keep that one. I do usually like the ones that give me an additional bonus card and we can see that we want to be in the forest birds in the uh, forest are the first ones so i may actually keep three when activated gain one from the bird feeder if available you may cache it on this card all right so I'm gonna keep these two things. All right, so there's my five things, and we are ready to get started. <clears throat> to have to start my turn. Um, okay, so basically we need to go ahead and play a bird down. Um, you can see here you can jump between the various uh, areas, and this is a much more artistic view. Uh, but it still gives you the information that you need. 
Uh, and I like how it kind of zooms back and forth deeper into the forest, into the open plains, or right on the water. Or if you prefer to have a view that's very similar to what you look at when you're actually playing the game, where it's just a you know, that binder look uh, in front of you, you can view it this way. And once we get going, I do tend to, to be drawn towards this view simply because I can see all of it, my board at once. Um, but uh, here you can, um, we can jump out of there. Um, so yeah, I think we just need to get this first bird out here. And we're going to use let's use this all right so this is basically it's wanting me to confirm now you can see that if i press the you know continue button which is the green arrow in the lower right corner if i press it that little symbol in the corner means you can't go backwards there is a back button in the game but it is deactivated when you make certain choices so it just bellied woodpecker these birds tongues reach out two inches for insects but seeds are half their diet so that right there is a great <clears throat> um way to show off things that you get with the digital version of the game that you don't get with the physical game. They basically read out the little flavor text for you uh, about the red bellied woodpecker. Also, you can see that it is, you know, it's got motion. Um, you, you know, it's not just now a static picture once you've played it. Um, and you can turn all that off if that annoys you that it's sitting there constantly going. But um, I think it's a really nice touch that they read out the flavor text to you. So all right, so obviously already I need to get some food. So we, hmm, I really don't want to give up these two birds, but I do need, what do I need? I need my leaf back, but I'm also going to need a worm for the future. So actually we're going to take a leaf. Okay. So let's take one of these, and I'm going to choose the leaf, because I do need lots of leaves. All right, I'm not going to... I could go here, I could click on this, and it would say, which card do you want to discard? And you would just drag it up into that shaded area in the center. Um, but I'm going to hit the back button, because I don't want to give up that card. I do want to save it. Um, so I'm simply taking my um, thing here. I could put it back. Um, and we're going to make that selection. <clears throat> All right. So here you can again, see that it automatically activates that card for you. And I actually want to take it. I don't want to cache it because I need, need all this food. All right. So we're good. We'll let the other person go tap to start. Uh, so you can see right here again, it gives you a general idea of what action they took. So it's just a little pop up. Uh, speech bubble almost they are saying I gained food so if you're familiar with the game you know that they basically uh, did the exact same thing we did and you can see that the bird feeder is much more empty now you can however go up to the top and click on the little in this instance the puffins picture to see their board so you can see their uh, things the same way you would but you can also see their board and so you can see exactly how they are scoring their points. We both basically have the same strategy here. <clears throat> and that is to get as many birds into the forest area as possible. Um, so I want to go ahead and get my cerulean warbler out, but I need some eggs to do so. So let's go ahead and I can lay. Yeah. Boom tap on the birds to lay the eggs see this is an instance where being down here in this view is more helpful because when you take that action you're just right there whereas here you click on the birds then you have to physically move yourself up here to then click on click on the bird to uh um add the eggs so here we're going to add the eggs and that's our turn we'll let the puffin decide we get to tap, tap, start to turn, and then it's it. So he gained food again. So you can see he took 
I can't really remember what was there, but, um, all right. So we are ready to play our Cerulean Warbler now. <coughs> we don't need to change that. Tap on a bird. There we go. Confirm. All right. Birds that eat anything. Birds in your hand at the end of the game. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with the omnivore expert. All right. So we've got one. Have one bird in your hand and two in your forest at the end of a turn. Okay. <laughs> one in the hand and two in the bush. All right. So we've got three turns left. He's drawn birds. <clears throat> I need to gain some food to be able to play this guy out here. All right. When he's activated, he tucks. All right. So let's go ahead and gain food. Um, yeah, I guess I can take this. It really doesn't matter. And now we can, you can see the little symbol of, looks like the bird feeder with a curvy arrow that is gonna reshuffle. So by doing that, I've locked in that I want that, the cherries, the berries. And what else do we need? I know I'm gonna be able to get a leaf and I've already got one. Uh, so let's take a worm because everybody likes worms. And I'm gonna take that again. I'll start cacheting those a little bit later. I do like how they wait until you have said I'm ready to start my turn before it announces what they've done in case you're not paying attention, um, in case you look away from your iPad or something like that because it doesn't stay up there forever. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get our third bird in here. And yep, that's what I want to do. And take that egg. Common there we go. In winter, grackles roost in large flocks that can include millions of individuals. All right. <clears throat> so, I've played a bird, Carolina Wren. Okay, so you can see, I, if you paid attention, you could go up here and look at his board and see that he's got two in the forest to my three. So I'm winning right now. But you could also go up here to the upper right corner and just click on the goal tile, and it'll tell you exactly I'm winning three to two. Now, um, he could... Because if we look here, we can see that he actually does not have any forest birds in his hand. Okay. So he might not be able to make it there. But I need I need some birds either way. So let's go down here and draw a bird card. All right. I don't... None of those are omnivores. None of them... Uh, Oh, they do have a tuck power. And I am going to need ones in the planes in the future. So this Dick Sissel here does look... Does look promising. Okay. All right, so that's the one we want. And this is my last turn. So he's gained food. <clears throat> I believe he's been going first this whole time. So I think I've got it locked in that I am winning this round. Um, all right. So I need some food to be able to play the Dick Sissel down. And, yep. Although there's not... Oh, there is. There's a leaf right there. I'm going to get lots of leaves. I am going to need a fish eventually, probably, because I want to be able to get more cards going so I can start tucking them. Um, and if I activate here, I can tuck a card from my hand and lay that down. So I actually want a card before I activate that bird. So I think I'm actually going to go here and draw another bird. Okay, 
discard one to tuck two from the deck behind this bird. That's actually a really nice card. I need a waterfowl card. It takes the uh, food resource that I can produce a lot of. Um, and it it's going to help me in the next round. So, ugh, I actually want this card. So maybe we'll try and play him down. All right. So we can see the end of the round. I am victorious. So I get the four points. And now we just, boom, move right on into the next round. Things move pretty quickly. He's gained food. And you can see I'm the... <coughs> I thought I was the first player. All right. I want to be able to tuck a card to lay an egg. Um, but they literally keep giving me cards that I want to draw here. Because there's an omnivore. So, I really just want one that I can chuck away. This may not be the best strategy. We'll see. Um, let's see what he did. He played a red heron woodpecker into the field. All right. All right, so I need some food. All right, I'm going to take you. Hmm. I guess we'll take you. I don't really like that choice, but I do not want to tuck a card from my hand, so I will continue. Uh, s wait. Oh, this, so this is for tucking a card for this guy. There we go. Yeah, I did want to do that. Lay a card. Yes, I do want to do that. And I want to re-roll. And now take yes. Whoops. Okay. So you can see that, <clears throat> just a little hint of strategy, I took the fish so that I could re-roll the two cherries when it came because the leaf has to come from the bird feeder. All right. So doing pretty good now. I've got a good start to be able to... need to get that guy down okay all right so let's go down here let's play you down yes black-bellied whistling duck these ducks really do whistle all right four turns left what did he do he's gained food so i need to get bird i need to get eggs on this bird How's he doing? He's got one already. Just, just gonna go ahead and do that so I don't forget. All right, what did he do? He played. Okay, so he's he's pushing. Um, Oh, okay. So I was looking ahead. I'm actually ahead in round two, but he is jumping ahead in round three. He's looking forward. So we can't be left behind there. Um, <clears throat> all right. So I'm winning right now. There. I need to start thinking about putting people here. And I to activate this guy... I need to discard one, which I have one. If I go up here, there's nothing that's going to help me there. Let's look at the cards. I have an option. Nothing there. <clears throat> Whoops. Running out of battery. All right. Um, I do have one egg there that I could give up. So let's, yeah, let's go down here and choose some birds. I do not want any of these guys. Um, I could look forward to the Anahinga, but that's looking a little forward. So let's get you, 
Nope. And I will give up an egg from you to draw another one. Okay. All right, we are good there. I've chosen my two cards. Done. Uh, come back down here. Discard one. Yes, I do want to do that. To tuck two cards. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Puffin has taken his turn. Two turns left. Okay. He's laid eggs. I'm guessing he laid eggs right there. nest with eggs so if I come up here I've only got two turns left so there's really no way for me to get the food I need to play this guy down I would need to get food play him down and then add eggs so hopefully let's look at his board here he's got eggs on that bird Okay, so he could add eggs to the Carolina Wren and, and steal this round from me. Um, but there's nothing I can really do. I don't have the turns to do what I need to do. So let's look ahead to getting one of these guys down. I know that. Okay, so I need to get some food. All right. Uh, none of this food is worth anything. Yes. All right. I'm going to need some worms. And I need some... You need actually lots of. Oh, that's it. I don't want to do any of this. Where's my continue button? I may have found a glitch in the game here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I lost my continue button. Very interesting. should be a continue button over here or a back button anything Well, this is what we're going to do. We are just going to stop the video here. You guys have seen how the game works <clears throat> and I am going to send a note to um, the publisher of this app because this is definitely a bug. So we have discovered a bug on the channel um, where we cannot continue. My continue and back buttons have disappeared. Interestingly enough, let's just see if this does anything. Nope. Does this do anything? There's the back button, but it still doesn't pop up there.
Very interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, unfortunately, that is all of Wingspan we are going to see. But um, just a few other things that we can show off here on the app. You could simply just go through here, and um, I'm not sure how these get unlocked. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet, but he, here, I'm going to be quiet for a second. Kill deer. Kill deers will fake a broken wing to lure predators from their nests. Kill I, thought, deer. Kill deer I thought that was going to play the sound of the bird, um, but it didn't. Um, but it's just nice to be able to go through here and, you know, look at all the cards. You could simply do this by getting out the deck of cards from your hand, um, but you can filter them in certain ways. Um, at the end of each game, you'll get an opportunity to save it to your archives. So you could save what your board looked like. You can play other people online. Um, there is a you know small list of achievements here, things like that. So... Uh, really great addition, other than the fact that there seems to be a bug that can pop up. I'm not sure how we triggered that. But uh, otherwise, this is the first time I've had the bug happen. I am very happy with Wingspan. Uh, and technically have, over the last month or so, played several games of Wingspan on the app and have not gotten the game out. Um, I actually have loaned the game out to my parents at the moment after that uh, article came out about Wingspan being the hot new board game. And we're going to see if they actually give it a try. But uh, as far as the digital version, if you have been considering getting Wingspan or want to check it out, this is a great entry point. It's a $10 app, which is kind of steep, but it is worth the money. The production value uh, in this app is worth $10. And you get, you get the full experience of Wingspan. You can do pass and play. You can play online. You can play it. Automa, you can play single player against AI simulated opponents. It's all there. So um, if you are worried about spending the 40 to $50 on the actual board game and want to check it out first, check out the app first. Uh, I highly recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.